Every member in an Intercalc 3D model has a member local axis system associated with it. That consists of a member local X, Y, and Z axis, and that axis system is just used to define how the member is oriented in the model. To display the member local axes, we can come up to the member display options icon and then toggle on local axes. Now we see these color coded axis triads. And it's worth noting that the colors for the local axis system correspond to the colors and the naming for the global axis system. So that is to say that when we see a green member local axis, if we don't remember that that's local Y, we can just refer back to the global axis color coding for a quick refresher that green is Y, X is red, and Z is blue. Now there are rules for how these default orientations are established, and we'll cover that as well as how to modify the default orientations in other videos, but for now, Let's just discuss why these member local axes are useful to us. For one thing, uh, they allow us to do things like to rotate a member. So what we might do now is clarify the view to remove the local axes, zoom out just a little bit, and then render. And notice that in the frame, in the rear, the beam is oriented so that the web is in the vertical plane but the frame in the foreground has the beam oriented in the horizontal plane. And without a member local axis system, it wouldn't be possible to do that. I'll just toggle off the rendering, come back into our frame here. The other thing that member local axes do is they allow us to apply member end releases to specific ends. So we might come in to modify member properties and then come down to moment releases. And notice that we have start end and ending end options for all of the different directions. So we need to understand what's the starting end of the member and what's the ending end of the member. And again, without a local access system, there would be no frame of reference as to what that meant. The last two things that I'll point out have to do with interpreting analysis results. If we come to member end forces and moments, for instance, we can see that the results are shown for a distance noted as zero and a distance of 100%. This corresponds to the force at the starting end and the forces at the ending end. So again, reference back to member orientation. And then finally, if we look at member segmental results, we can see that for each member at many different locations, we have forces that are reported with respect to X, Y, and Z directions. And these member segmental results directions correspond back to the member local axes that we see in those colors. So many reasons why we need to understand the local access system.